Welcome Aquarius to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition brain messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and get into your reading and see who is the person that is coming towards you in love. So spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to this person who is connected to Aquarius in love? What do we need to know about the person who is tied with Aquarius in love? Thank you. What messages want to come through? One final message, please, Spirit. What do we need to know about this person who is connected to Aquarius? Okay. So we have here fate and it came up in reverse and it says this is a destined partnership and also integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? And also we have unavailable. This person is unable to give all that you deserve. Okay, so it's kind of ironic, right? It says available here in the glare, but then it's really unavailable. This card came up sideways. Okay, it wasn't completely up or down. So that could be um, one of the reasons surrounding this particular person that A, they really feel like maybe this isn't like the right time to have a relationship. And number two, why? It's because they are not standing in their integrity. So this is very similar to like the Aries reading that I did yesterday and that was kind of harsh, you know, so um, whoever that you are dating Aquarius, okay, um, if the shoe fits, right, let's find out. <laughs> Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to this person who is connected to Aquarius? Can you tell me more about why this person does not feel like it's a right time to have a relationship? You know, it was because of cheating. Maybe there's another person that they have that they are dealing with. Can you please clarify? Why is this person unavailable or they seem like they're available, but they really aren't? Okay. So it could be because whoever this person is they're dealing with an older past love okay they possibly haven't gotten over that situation hence the reason why we have this available unavailable card that's kind of very similar positioned as this old and past love right um also we have achievement and recognition they know that maybe this isn't a destined partnership and we have forgotten i don't know like this person they really feel like maybe you would forget about them if if they would just stop talking to you aquarius maybe you would just like you know move on okay now i know that's the cheap way of getting out of a relationship or a situation especially if you guys have been dating and um let's just say you didn't really get any closure you know, that's a really crappy way, right, of um, handling, you know, a breakup or, you know, trying to send a message without communicating. So that just tells you that the type of person who this um, is, 
if they are not standing in their integrity and they were still open towards the past, you know, why couldn't this person really open up and tell you the truth that, you know, there there's a past person that they still have been dealing with, you know? Maybe they wanted to hang on to you and also this other person because they they really don't know. I really feel like they were just holding on to whatever they have for the sake of a feeling like, you know, they got their stuff together when clearly they don't, okay? Let's find out a little bit more about this person's energy. Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about how this person currently thinks about Aquarius? How do they feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy surrounding the person who is connected to Aquarius and love? Let's see. What are their thoughts? What is this person thinking when they think of you? Okay, we have your four cups. It came up in the upright position. So again, this is about their sense of stability. They're just not really feeling it right now. I, I feel like, you know, they just need to feel stable. This person is not stable. So how could they really offer you love, right? Um, what else, Spirit, do we need to know about how they think about Aquarius? Okay, we have lovers in reverse. Like, I mean, I'm not going to, like, sugarcoat it. Like, maybe they're just not ready for a partnership with you. Okay. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this person's spirit? Yeah, we have five of cups. You know... They're really feeling sad, okay? They're trying to do whatever they can. It's like this person is self-soothing themselves because they need to feel like they're feeling feeling okay. They're not okay. They're really stuck in the past. I really feel like you're just kind of there to kind of comfort them because they're going through a hard time, you know? But I really feel like, Aquarius, you really wanted to see if you could work things out with this particular person, I have a feeling like if you're dealing with a Gemini, um, they kind of cut things off and went on their merry way to find happiness within themselves. But um, what I'm also hearing is that this person is trying to find happiness outside of themselves and not within. So again, is this person really ready for my Aquarius who is watching this? And for the ones that is watching me, you guys are possibly spiritually awakened. You want someone who... Um, who is really open to, you know, the spiritual aspect of a relationship. You know, not something that is based off materialism. But here, your person, um, you know, structure is very important to them. Okay, and I know that that's important to most people. Because you have to feel um, stable and balanced within yourself before you can really offer anything. And this is like a relationship. Um... You know, maybe, you know, just a place to stay, anything like that, okay? That's what I'm saying. And, um, yeah, look, we have your king of pentacles in reverse. So, financially, they, they, they may not be doing so well. So, Spirit, how does this person feel towards Aquarius? Okay, so they're trying to get out of their head. Okay, if they've been stressing, it's because of their ego. We have your six of wands. So their ego is actually getting in the way. And I feel like for some, they told you, I'm sorry, I can't be in this relationship with you. Um, I'm really focused more on my sense of stability. They're just not feeling it. Um, as a matter of fact, if you know who I'm talking about, um, the way that they come off is very very dry like um especially if they used to be really you know loving and uh, very interested in you aquarius like this person is cracker still okay like there's nothing spicy about this person right now maybe in the very beginning but if that were the case i'm not saying any of that 
okay so they're really like i want to say selfish or like just more focused on themselves not really on the connection with you um how else are they feeling we have here this is judgment so you know they're really trying to figure out maybe this is temperance sorry so they're really trying to balance themselves and maybe it's going to take time you know maybe now is not the time you know to be in a relationship with this particular person so spirit um yeah look at this so maybe in the past two years your person has been trying to figure out like which way they should go should they go in a different direction or should they stay you know um they're actually contemplating about leaving you okay so i'm not sure if they're going to actually physically move to a different location but if that's the case um they're not really focused on staying okay so i feel like that's for somebody who is watching um what is their intent you know their intention is to really get out of this separation if you guys have been separated with one another they had a lot of time to think about how they were kind of stuck in their ways okay um you know they, they do love you okay they definitely want to create something new Is there anything else, Spirit? You know, I do see her baby. You know, maybe for some, you know, they're pregnant. Um, yeah, they do want union. For some, I mean, this could be a twin. I know, right? You know, but the way that they're, like, acting right now, you know, it, it looks difficult. I'm not going to lie. This is very difficult energy. Their intention is to come into union with you and to birth something new. They want to get out of the separation. But, you know, we have here the fool in reverse. They just feel like maybe it's not a good idea to do it right now. So, uh, Sperry, can you please reveal to me what is the outcome of this connection? What is the outcome? So I see her death. Okay, it's in reverse. Also the three of pentacles. They really feel like they can't work on this. They don't want to make the same mistakes over and over again. So it's like, you know, they're overthinking. A little self-sabotage behavior going on here. So they're not being optimistic. They're more pessimistic about choosing you over whatever situation that they're in. That's why they're not really open to the connection right now. And look, there's a lot of fear that is going on. So you're dealing with someone who is clearly not ready for reunion. Their intention is yes, to come into union with you. But are is this person ready? No, they're not. Like they're at a completion of a cycle. They need to really end whatever this uh, stuck energy is. If it's been three years, I'm hearing it's time. You know, so it's either A, they do it on their own free will, or B, universe is going to push them in a direction where they need to make a decision. That's what I'm seeing. Is there anything else that Aquarius needs to know about this person? Is there anything else, Spirit? Yeah, so they had, they were kind of torn between a decision between you and someone else. And I feel like they have made that decision. And I feel like the decision is just to hold back and not really pursue the connection towards you at this time. Let's see, is there anything else that we need to know about the person connected to Aquarius? And I would say it's okay because now you have time to really focus on yourself. Yeah, so they definitely want to communicate something. It may not be um, something that you want to hear. You know, they're going to tell you like, well, you know, I need to focus more on my work. You know, I'm not doing well financially. There's a lot of reasons why I need to hold back. I'm sorry. I just can't be with you right now is what I'm hearing. You know, they may not say it to you like that bluntly, but 
I feel like you can take it, right, Aquarius? <sighs> Let's see. Is there anything else, Spirit? One final message. Okay, so yeah. So they're really, really protected over their security. And again, they're just not ready to have a new beginning. It's not time yet. You know, I see three to four years. Now, depending on the situation, um, it may take another year for some before this person can actually budge and get out of whatever karmic situation that they're in. Because I'm not saying it's the karmic's fault. Your person is choosing to stay back, okay? So I'm not going to point the finger like it's all about the karmic. But, you know, it's your person's decision to do this also. So I don't feel like um, at this point it's fair to you know, shift blame or point the finger at whoever that they're tied down with. It's your person's decision to stay in that. Okay. I really feel like I have to say that. Okay. So let's see, what are the messages that your person would like to say? Spirit, what messages want to come through? What does Aquarius need to hear coming from this person? What are the messages? I want to make things right. I choose us. I mean, I choose you. I choose us being together. So eventually, they do want to choose you. Okay, but right now, they're trying to do the right thing. Is there anything else? And I know, like, our egos can get in the way. It's like, well, you know, if they're not ready for me right now, I just, you know, I'm just going to move on. You know, and, and that might be something that we have to consider, right? But does that mean it's a forever thing? No. Because if this person truly wants to choose you, they will come back. It's just it's not going to be on your terms, you know. And sometimes it's not even on their terms, you know, because of situations that may come in the way due to outside interference, I blocked my heart because I needed to hear, heal. I was in fear. Please understand. So you have to come to a level of patience and understanding. No one else feels the same way you do. So you are different. They know this. You know. I'm trying to work on myself. I hope you understand. So... I mean, there's nothing really that you can do to really expedite the situation between you and this particular person. I see that they're choosing to kind of stay stuck in whatever it is that they're dealing with because it's circumstantial, okay? I really do feel that. I wouldn't, like, blame anybody except for your person to, to do it, but you have to have a little compassion and really understand where they're coming from okay no one else feels the same way you do so they feel something for you aquarius they want to uh make things right they just they're not there yet okay and i know that for some if this is your twin you've been plenty patient to see when is this person going to get their crap together and i understand but sometimes we have to let go of our ego and expectations and just let things happen naturally. Okay. Um, so what is the advice or guidance from spirit? What is the oracle message here, spirit, for Aquarius and the person on it? Wow. We have two messages. And the first one is music. And it says music has the ability to transport you to a different realms by activating and igniting your body, making your magic rituals and healing even more potent. Listen to some music. Okay. Also, we have wild card. You are, uh, you are unpredictable and your qualities are uncertain. You can't be held down. Nobody knows what to expect from you. Not even a jack of all trades. So, you know, no, your person can't figure you out and that's fine. I would say this, you know, try not to manipulate 
the situation with this person because a lot of times i mean i'm gonna have to put it out there we don't know that we're actually being manipulative towards the other person it's easy for us to call out maybe a karmic person and say oh the karmic you know um you know manipulate them through you know making them feel guilty to stay really i mean and that may be true to a certain degree for some but it's your person who made a decision to stay back and i really feel like it's because of finances and other personal issues okay so um listen to some music okay you have the ability to really find inspiration to do what what is necessary for you to kind of pull through right this person they don't know like i don't know they, they can't figure you out i would say just hold tight you know don't don't think too much listen to some music I really feel like if you're interested in this particular person, let them come to you when the timing is right. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.